this yes. is the new toque for this year, the 2018 toque for coldest night of the year. Awesome. It's got this great logo, which is reflective. Yes. And then on the back, it's got the website. Oh, so nice. I'm going to add it up to these other ones because this is the seventh year. Every year, it is a new toque. A lot of our people that have walked with us every year, they have a collection of the toques. And so that's a really neat way of, of just showing that they've supported. And I often see people in the community wearing their toques, and it's just a good reminder of what it is that we're doing. The coldest night of the year, walk in both Nanaimo and Parksville. You can raise money for um, homelessness issues with Island Crisis Care Society in both communities. Island Crisis Care Society started um, in the early 80s with um, Samaritan House, which is now the only homeless shelter for women in the Mid-Island. And so we help women that are homeless or at risk of homelessness and they come to our doors um, anytime, 24-hour facility, and we try and help them. Um, unfortunately, right now, the need is so huge. In December, we had an occupancy rate at Samaritan House of 112% and still had 78 times that we had to turn away women. Actually, three of those times were women with children um, that we didn't have a safe place to put them. So the need for an expansion is huge and um, that's going to be coming up very soon in the future. Coldest night of the year is um, how we raise money in general for our programs. We not only have the Samaritan House in Nanaimo, but we also have a, a sobering center, um, sobering beds at Crescent House. We also have crisis stabilization at Safe Harbor House, and um, we have the bridge, which is longer term housing. In Parksville, we run the um, shelter, the winter shelter, um, which opened up on November 1st and runs until the end of March and is being held at our Butis Grove Church. And we also have Hearst House in Parksville, which is a six bed crisis stabilization home. So we're doing lots of things in both communities and these events, um, they raise money and the money stays in the community that they were raised. We are um, a charity, so yeah, um, all donations of $20 and over are um, tax deductible and you receive a receipt. Um, with this coldest night of the year, um, when you walk and you determine that you're going to raise money, you actually get a link that you can then send out to all your friends and family and all they have to do is click on that link and they can support you with the donation and then right away in, by email they get their receipt. Coldest Night of the Year is a great fun family event and people congregate together. They bring in either if they've got cash to hand in or if they're just coming in to say, hey, this is how much I raised online. They bring it together. There's a registration team that greets them. And then there's this big kickoff when um, usually bagpipes to lead people out as they start walking. So it's just a great way then people walk either two, five or ten kilometers and there's a rest stop along the way so they can take a little break. Um, in Parksville we actually stop at the uh, Pacific Brim uh, restaurant, their cafe, and they provide a drink and um, hot chocolate and even entertainment as well. So then everyone ends up back at the starting location. The starting location in Nanaimo is John Barsby School and it's Knox United Church in Parksville. Everyone comes back together and then we enjoy a, a meal together which is provided by a donation from a local caterer and um, it's usually chili or soup and something so that people get the understanding of what it's like to line up um, in a soup kitchen and receive some food. So it's just a real way of, of connecting with what it is that we're raising money for for the people that are vulnerable in our community and, and need the support. The coldest night of the year walks take place in over a hundred communities across Canada. This year, you can support the Ladysmith Resource Centre, who help the homeless in the Ladysmith community. To register to walk in your community, or for more information, visit the Coldest Night of the Year website.